Welcome back guys, welcome back. How's it hanging? Can we say that anymore? I'm not actually sure, you know. But I'd never thought in all my days I'd actually be looking to someone like Timmy Mallet. You remember Timmy Mallet from Wackaday? Actually talking some sense. He was on a panel, like a morning program, talking about this whole thing where they're saying now we might have to have um, number plates on our bikes and e-bikes. I mean, what? Absolutely ridiculous, but fair play to the guy. He was actually saying, you know, he was defending it. He was saying this is absolutely stupid and, and quite rightly so, because I think he's a cyclist and everything else. But this is just, I think, another way of taking away freedom. What's the ultimate source of freedom other than walking? It's a bicycle. So let's just do something about that, shall we? So in a nutshell, I think this is a knee-jerk reaction to a lot of these accidents that have been happening recently. Um, where, you know, there's been some fatalities. Most of these have been on with electric motorcycles. So electric motorcycles like the Suron, which isn't an e-bike. Now the media have called, basically just put everything, everything that's electric with two wheels under the same category. They just basically call that an e-bike. These are not e-bikes, these are electric motorcycles. Anything that has foot pegs, that is classed as an electric motorcycle. And that's where a lot of these problems are happening. So I think this whole thing, this, knee, this is a knee-jerk reaction of, of basically, you know, media, every, everyone else jumping on this. And anyone that supports this sort of thing, in my mind, is absolutely mad because it's just another way of taking freedom away. Why can't we just do what we've always done? If someone does something wrong, that's, where, that's when you take action. Anyway, it looks as if Italy are, are kind of adopting this situation basically putting number plates on um, on bikes, making people accountable for their actions. I, you know, I do get frustrated myself with road cyclists. You know, some of them do think that they're a force to be reckoned with on the road um, in their lycra gear. And I don't particularly like the way a lot of those guys ride, but the majority of people out there are riding pretty safely and it's just the select few that are causing issues. Oh God, this is not good, is it? So there's definitely like this confusion out there um, with what's an e-bike and what's an electric motorcycle. And as I say, Surin have just been the biggest problem here because it's easy for like, you know, a young lad to go and jump on a Surin um, and go and do what we did as kids. You know, we always just have little areas where we'd go and blast around like a, a trials bike and he'd just have, have some fun. That's what lads do. With my electric motorcycle build, I spent so much time, wasted so much time, I say wasted because I don't actually ride that anymore, wasted so much time and energy building this bike to road legalise it, to show the process on, on, on YouTube, how you actually register, road register an electric motorcycle that you build yourself. I mean, what, what greater thing can you, can you do than build your own transport to get you from A to B efficiently, cheaply, you know, you're not buying like another wasteful vehicle, you're building your own vehicle. And then trying to go through the process of registering this thing was an absolute ball lake. I did it, I actually managed to do it and, and kind of, you know, managed to get it registered as like an L1E moped. Go back and check the other videos, you know, about that. But, um, thank you. But yeah, there absolutely needs to be something in place to make it a lot easier to ride high power stuff. And then, I don't know, who knows? You know, you're still gonna get these problems because you've always been able to go out and get, buy like a pit bike or, you know, some sort of motorcycle or quad or mini moto, something like that, and just go and have some fun with it. There's no, nothing stopping you from doing that. And I don't think really there should be, but we need to just kind of educate people that this is, this is sort of changing times now. And it's basically don't go after it if you don't understand it properly or don't understand it fully. You know, the solution is not to stick a number plate on everything just to account for it. And just because you don't really understand what's going on. Oh, well, let's just, just completely try and control something by just going way, way too far. And I think that's just what, what this is. This is just, this is way too far. Anyway, guys, I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments section. Let me know. I know what you're all gonna say. You're gonna agree, but it is a talking point. And I think if the more we talk about this stuff, the more this, you know, things like videos like this get pushed out, you know, people start, we start changing people's opinions a little bit of it. I think it's just, it's just crazy. It's just exactly what has happened, what, what happened to the drones. Now everybody sees like a drone flying and they're like, oh, oh no, that's this really bad thing. It's spying on me and oh, it's doing all this stuff. No, it's not. It's just somebody out doing some photography or basically flying 
something because they they're into radio controlled model flight. It, it's exactly the same. You see someone on on like a high power e-bike. I tell you what, what's interesting. If I go out with a full face crash helmet on because I actually like my head and I don't want to die and I don't want my jaw to be messed up. If I go out with a full face um, crash helmet on, you see the complete difference the way people react, they're like, oh no, he shouldn't be on here, he's on a motorbike. I'm not on a motorbike, I'm on an electric bike. <laughs> but I've got this full face helmet on and it just makes me some kind of like, you know, I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. As soon as I put, like, or I don't have a helmet on, or I put like a normal skull cap type thing on, people are like, hi, I'm on in, uh, you know. So yeah, we need to change people's opinions here. It's just, it's pretty crazy. Anyway, guys, enough ranting from me. Catch you next time. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention was they're saying e-bikes are dangerous because they're heavier. I've heard this kind of going around. That's an absolute ridiculous thing to say because as my mate Paul, Noxy Man, go check his video, I'll link it down below. Um, he's done a really good video about this sort of stuff. It's not about that. It's not about the weight of the bike. It's the combined weight of the rider and the bike together. And that's always been the case, whether they're on an e-bike or not. A lot of these e-bikes, if you've spent like, you know, half the price of a, a house on on your e-bike then it's probably going to be lighter than a skateboard i don't know anyway guys catch you catch you later